Here we are, our new home. Oh, wow, honey, it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's a very beautiful home. What's wrong, buddy? I guess I'm just a little bit sad and nervous. Sad because I left all my friends behind and nervous because I don't know if I'll make any new friends here. Well, of course you will, Cody. Just wait and you'll see. Oh, hi, guys. Are you my new neighbors? My name is Cody. What's your name? I'm JJ. This is my brother, Tom Tom. Hello. And this is my sister, Yo-Yo. Hi, everybody. I'm Yo-Yo. And this is my mom and dad. <laughs> and that's our dog, Bingo. Hello, everybody. I'm Cody. That was my kitty, Pickles. And this is my mom and dad. Nice, nice to meet you. Everybody. Sorry, Bingo. My kitty, Pickles, is a little bit shy. Hey, do you want to go play with us? That sounds fun, but I have a lot of unpacking to do. Well, maybe we can help. Well, that would be lovely. Thank you. Maybe my friends can help us too, so that way we get the job done quicker and we can go play. What do you say, guys? Do you want to help my new friend Cody unpack and move into his new house? We would love to help. Let's get started. Yippee! Now let's take a closer look at Cody's new house. It looks like there's a lot of rooms to fill up. That means there's a lot of work to be done. Oh my, what an immense room! What does immense mean? Immense means great or extremely large. This is an extremely large room or this is an immense room. Oh, can this immense room be my immense bedroom? Most certainly. Now let's move your stuff in. First, we'll start with Cody's toy box. Inside the toy box, we'll put some toys. Here's a teddy bear, a soccer ball, a baseball glove and a baseball, and a toy dinosaur. We'll place the toy box right in the corner. <laughs> Uh, there we go. That sure is heavy. Thanks for helping. No problem. Now that the bed is in there, we can place the mattresses. Let's place a pink mattress on top and a blue mattress on the bottom. A blue pillow and a pink pillow. Why do you have a bunk bed all to yourself? The bottom bed is mine and the top, well, I like to have it for a friend when they come over for a sleepover. Oh, that's a great idea! Can I come for a sleepover? Of course! We'll place a blue slide on this side and a brown ladder on this side. And here's the nightstand. Inside one of these drawers, we're going to place a blue brush. And on top, we're going to place a pink lamp and a book. And just like that, Cody's room is all complete. Oh, I can't wait to have a sleepover. Next up is mom and dad's bedroom. We'll place a kitchen sink, a high chair, and an oven. No, of course not. Instead, we'll place a bed, oh, a blue mattress, one, two green pillows, a nightstand, and a pink lamp. Our bedroom is all done. This is going to be our kitchen and dining room, but it's looking a little bit dark. Why don't we turn on the lights? That's better. Let's place the oven back here, the sink right next to the oven, orange laundry basket with some soap and detergent, in the corner, a cleaning bucket and a cleaning mop, in the back, dish rack with some dishes, ironing table and an iron, a pot and a pan, eggs, a dining table, and two benches on the side, and a high chair. And this is going to be our living room. Do you guys hear that? I hear pickles. It sounds like she's in trouble. Let's go find her. Wait for us. There she is. Pickles, come back. What are you doing there? Pickles doesn't like heights. She looks really scared. How are we going to help her, Dad? Not to worry. I have an idea. 
Don't be scared, Pickles. We'll get you down. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Get on top of the car. You did it, Pickles! Now come to me. You're safe now, Pickles. Let's get you in the house. What a spectacular spot to drink my morning coffee. What does spectacular mean? Spectacular is the word we use to describe something so beautiful it's breathtaking. This is a spectacular spot for my morning coffee. Or, this is an absolutely breathtaking spot for my morning coffee. Now let's go furnish our spectacular living room. You're right, Cody. There's still a lot of work to be done. We'll place this uh, heavy couch right here. And now we're going to add two pink pillows. One, two. A lamp would look wonderful right next to the couch. And I think I have just the right one. Perfect. Now the living room is all complete. We have one more room to furnish. Can you guess what room this is going to be? If you said the guest room, then you're right. We'll place a bed here, mattress on top, and an orange pillow. On the other side of the room, we'll place a crib in case we have a baby guest, a mattress inside the crib, and a green pillow. It looks like all of our rooms are completely furnished and our job is done. <laughs> Not quite. We still have some outdoor furniture. Well, all right. Let's first place this fire pit right here. A table, one stool, two stools, an umbrella, one, two chairs, logs, fire, one, two, three, four lemonades, one, two, three, four plates, marshmallows on a stick, a hot dog on a stick, one hot dog, two hot dogs, one, and two s'mores. Now that the table is set, we can sit back and enjoy for hard work well done. Mm, this is really yummy. Mm. Hey, I want to show you something really cool. Come, follow me. Check this out. It's a swing on the porch. Porch swing. Oh, wow. Cool. Wow. What an astonishing place to read books. What's astonishing? Astonishing means awesome or amazing. What an astonishing place for reading books. Or, what an awesome place for reading books. Cool! And I made an astonishing friend today. His name is Cody. <laughs> Aw, thanks JJ. I think you're pretty astonishing too. I see you have a new friend now, Cody. I do, Mom, and he's super awesome. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. See, there was nothing to worry about. You're right, Mom. I'm so glad we moved here. I love my new friends. Hey, do you want to go play tag? Tag, you're it. Hey, wait for me. If you like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Until next time, bye.